when you connect with nature, you connect with yourself. On behalf of Team Sanjeevni Embracing Life, the business for charity enterprise of our school, I would like to wish you all a very happy World Environment Day. The students of our enterprise along with our lead teacher, Ms. Divya Sharma, participated in a cross-culture exchange program at the Great Himalayan National Park situated in Himachal Pradesh from 10th May 2023 to 15th May 2023. The students had a great learning experience and shared joyous moments with the locals. In this session, we will be hearing the experience right from our eco travelers about their edutainment trip. So let's begin. Hello, I am Richa. For me, the best part was visiting the village and interacting with the villagers. It was a serene experience visiting the Majani village. The village environment was all about chirping of birds, voices of cattle, lush green fields, the mud houses and huts. The village life shared a strong bond with nature. People in the village mostly indulge in agriculture activities and stay away from the hustle and bustle of chaotic daily life. Led a simple lifestyle, a day in the village starts early in the morning. People usually wake up around 5 am and starts with their daily chores. The chores were such that they require heavy physical activities like procuring wood from the forest. Hence, the villagers lived a hale and hearty lifestyle. The village people did not require many shops as they grow most of the vegetable grains in their fields and other necessary items from the nature. The people were very much satisfied with the nature and its product which they were blessed with and lived a peaceful and tranquil life. Hi, I am Fala and I am totally amazed by the rich biodiversity at the National Park. From the interpretation center that we visited and through the locals, we got to know that that the Great Himalayan National Park is a home to 375 fauna species including approximately 31 mammals, 181 birds and 127 insects. It houses numerous flora species as well, out of which many are medicinal homes. We came across rhododendron trees during our trip, which is the state tree of Uttarakhand. We also saw the nettle plant, which we have read about in our class 10 science textbooks. Furthermore, we also learned about different species of mammals and birds, such as the western tragopan, which is the state bird of Himachal Pradesh. The guide informed us that approximately 10% of its wild population is found in the Great Himalayan National Park. We also spotted the Himalayan Pika. It is a small mammal of about 17 cm. Other than these, on our way to the bank of the Ethan River, we caught glimpses of the black bear, goral and musteer. Thank you. It is commonly said that people will forget what you said or what you did but will never forget how you made them feel. I am a Kangsha and I will never forget my time spent on the trek at Great Himalayan National Park organized by the organization Earth Calling. We were accompanied by three members of the organization to the trek and they made sure that our entire journey was comfortable to the best. On our first day, we went for the nature trail. Locals there educated us about different types of flora and fauna which was native to Himalayas. The locals of the village very cordially told us a lot about the medicinal plants, climate, their traditions, their lifestyle and much more. On our third day, we visited Vajhali village, the last village in the Himalayas. The villagers were very welcoming and the aged residents of that place narrated us various tales and real stories of their region. We also visited local government school in the village and were overwhelmed by the love showered upon us by the amiable students. We cherished the game of Coco and cricket which we played with the children. After indulging in an informative conversation with them, we got to know about their education system and school life. We were then invited by a local villager for lunch who served us sumptuous meal consisting of local delicacies. 
All in all, locals at Great Himalayan National Park and Majhali Village were very welcoming and enthusiastic. They left no stone unturned in making our trip a very memorable one. Hello, I am Ambar. So I recently had one of my best experiences during the GHNT exchange program from 10 to 15 May. The cuisine is an integral part during such events and enjoying the local delicacies was a delight for all of us. North Indian dishes were served on the first day at the Sairopa complex with a touch of pahari element on them. Then the local dishes enhanced our joy and rejuvenated our minds after the trek during our stay in the Majhali village. These dishes were made from organically grown vegetables and cereals without the use of any chemicals or fertilizers. We tried Siddhu, which is a local bun made from wheat flour and has an amazing filling of vegetables such as potato, carrot and many. Alongside, the local kadhi had a different taste than what we are used to in Delhi. Lingri kadhi with the perfect balance of flavors was a delight for all of us. The walnut chutney acted as the perfect side on with these dishes. They even used the leaves of uh, it's the stinging nettle, locally known as Bichu Bhuti, which was quite tasty. To sum it up, the local Himalayan cuisine was a great experience for the whole group, which we cannot forget for the rest of our life. Thank you. Hi, I am Ishan. For me, the most integral part of our trip was the trek, which was none less than an adventure for us. We were trained about trekking methods and equipments a day prior of our trek. While trekking, a village dog joined us. We named it as Blast. Blast was really amiable and was walking ahead of us throughout our trek. We came across many locations throughout our journey which left us mesmerized. Waterfalls, rivers, native plants, mountains, valleys filled our hearts with calmness and serenity. The 4-5 to five hours of steep and continuous climbing was tiring. Nevertheless, we made the most of this trek and experienced the heavenly beauty of the mountains. Finally, after the climb, we reached our campsite, pitching the tent, cooking and eating food on the top of the mountains, sitting on the bank of River Thirthan, an everlasting impression on our minds. Singing songs and sharing our experiences during bonfire was a perfect cherry on the top. I will always cherish these wonderful moments and experiences. Entrepreneurs of our enterprise had a jubilant time going on trek with the team, which was well infused with learning opportunities. Our team members made the most of this experience while napping away from their chaotic schedules. Our enterprise offers many such entertainment opportunities to have fun filled learning opportunities. We hope you enjoyed the session and were fascinated by the Great Himalayan National Park just as much as we were. Keep a check on our social media handles to never miss any updates.